Side hustle. You know what that side a hustle? Dance, maybe? It is not a dance. <laughs> no. It's what the kids today call a second job. And as Fox 5's Dana File tells us, there are websites dedicated to helping you bring in a little extra money on the side. Dana, I'm listening. I know. We've been talking about this name, the side hustle. Everybody around here is like, I thought it was just called a second job. But side hustle sounds a lot more fun. And it's all the rage now with so many young people because they're saddled with debt that they're just struggling to get out of. Now, we've got the usual things you can do. Weekend waitress, you can be a babysitter, maybe a wedding DJ part time. And then there are some newer ways like renting a room to travelers in your home through sites like Airbnb. Maybe you're going to drive for Lyft or Uber to bring in a little extra cash when you clock out of that day job. But I scoured the internet to see what else folks are out there doing some out of the box type things. I got to tell you, it was pretty eye opening. So since nearly everybody in this office is a writer of some sort, I looked around for some writing jobs to see what I found. I found a lot. I found a ghost blogger writing for someone else's blog. Many folks find crafting stories really challenging. If you're a good writer, that's easy. Or you can be an editor. Let them write the piece, send it to you to clean up, and then you post it online for them. And here's one more way a good writer can make some extra money. Take that writing skill and tutor a student. Now, let's say you love animals, which we know so many of our viewers do. Pet sitting. Let folks drop their dog at your house for the weekend. You're there any, anyway, and you can make some money just curling up next to a dog on the couch. And while they're there, you give that pup a bath for a fee. And as a person with three large dogs, I might be willing to pay for this. <laughs> this is a drop in pooper scooper. Yes, people will pay you to come to their house to pick up dog poo out of the yard. Don't laugh, Google it, it is true. Now, many of our Fox 5 viewers are pretty good with their hands. If you are, advertise yourself as an IKEA furniture builder. Do that around the holidays because you know how maddening that stuff is. Do it for others. And you know how often we've heard over the years, I don't do windows. Well, you do the windows, wash other people's windows, carve out one week in a month and just do it. And finally, you're running errands anyway, run them for some other people. They might be too busy or maybe not well enough to get to the grocery store or to the bank so you can do it for them for a price. And now that you've decided a good way to make extra cash, you have to get your name out there. The story is posted on our website, fox5atlanta.com. We've got some additional links there that'll help you find your niche and to help you market it. So get going. The pooper picker upper. That yeah. sounds like a commercial, <laughs> but somebody, somebody's got to do it. Here's the thing. You not only do you have to have this talent, you have to believe in yourself and kind of yeah. have the confidence that you can sell it. Do you, do you have one? Do you have a side? You know, I, I, I mainly clean out the closets and the <laughs> drawers. And I know that sounds silly. And my husband makes fun of me. We've got this building in the back and it's just filled with stuff. Every couple of weekends, I pull stuff out and I sell it on one of the, you know, the neighborhood yard sale apps or next door. I generally get five bucks for stuff, but sometimes at the end of the weekend, I can make a hundred dollars getting rid of perfectly good stuff that we simply do not use anymore. Wow, put our thinking caps on. That's kind of free money. Yeah, but if people put their thinking caps on, everybody yeah. could probably get a side hustle. We've there. all got some sort of skill that could. Hmm. Turn into cash. I'm thinking. Okay. I know. Thank it you. It does Dana. make you. You give me something to think about. All right. <laughs> thank you.